right, so I have two trades. Um, I have a good trade that I lost money in and then a bad trade that I made money in. And that's a lesson that takes so a little bit So Lenar? Learn. Yeah, so I'll start with Lenar first. So Lenar, again, this is, you know, it's purely a breakout trade. I'm looking to take it through 80. Um, the day I got ticked into it, again, it, it looked, you know, bullish engulfing, closed basically at high day. And of course I got ticked in basically at that high day. My break, my buy side was at 80.05, high day was $80 and six cents. So I got ticked in. <laughs> now again, we're looking for the break and I'm, I'm expecting this to continue higher the following day. I'm not expecting this to kind of play around and hold underneath the range. I'm expecting that, that breakout move. The next day it opened immediately under that 806 could not get a penny above it and it was like really tight for the first 15 minutes it was like a you know almost like a dollar range now when the the real out is verse 74 and i'm not seeing that continuation that next you know that next morning that i'm expecting i don't want to give it that that same six points when i'm i could be wrong at that point so i upped the stop versus that 15 minute low i got stopped out of loss like one percent um still step back up still looks great and i'm back in it now uh, but that was so that was like for, in my opinion, I thought it was an okay trade. I lost money in it, but I was okay with it because it just, I didn't want to, if I was wrong and the market continued to pull lower, I didn't want to lose the six points in the Lenar when I was right for barely a penny. Um, now for the bad trade, this was this WDC. So this was a name that I was looking, can we talk about the third time into resistance, we call it third times of charms when we look for, you know, for breakout or continuation um, to happen. And we had this in WDC, very similar with Lenar, where you know it kind of ticked through 39, this didn't go. Now the problem with this was this did pull back, you know, three dollars against me, still held that proper support. And the next day we got some little news with you know WC gapped up, you know, 10% and it ran into the gap and it was coolly starting to reverse. And this was one where it was like my price just wasn't, you know, I didn't have a good enough price in the name. My price was 39, it was like a dollar or two in my favor, but I was already risking three dollars in the name. And as it started to reverse, I took the the the, the small profit, the, you know, the dollar fifty per share. Um, so in my opinion, this was a bad trade, even though I didn't make money. It's just that the overall risk in the trade was much higher than what I made. And this isn't a trade that I can continuously take and make money with, because the risk was far greater than the reward that was was there. Um, so again, for the good trade, I lost money in it. And I like that trade better than this one that I made money in. I I just think it was a bad trade. So those are my my Sorry. main two for the week. <clears throat> Funny how it works. Yeah.